Hi guys, this is a gear run through of a guitar that I'm selling on Gumtree at the moment in the uh, London and South London area. This is an Ibanez RG570 in grey nickel, which is more of a silver, dark silver metallic finish. This is a Japanese made guitar. I'll flick the headstock over so you can see the back of it. As you can see there, it starts with F, meaning F for Fuji Gen, and 02, meaning 2002, which is when it was made. This guitar is Ibanez's top of the line. Uh, this is the last year that they made Ibanez guitars in Japan without the prestige label. After 2002, they made all Japanese Ibanez guitars, RG prestige, you know, S prestige guitars, and even the bass guitars became prestige guitars. So if you're wondering, this is comparable to any of the RG prestige line you see Ibanez selling at the moment. I'll run through the specs of this bad boy, and then I'll get to price and delivery. Starting with the headstock, we've got Goto tuners, a locking nut. The neck is three-piece maple, bubinga, maple. The dark wood, bubinga, adds stability to this neck. It's a very thin neck, so this helps a lot. We've got a rosewood fretboard, 24 frets, and the neck profile is called the Ibanez Super Wizard which is one of the thinnest production necks Ibanez makes. We're talking 17 millimeters here, depth at the top, down to 19 millimeters, just there at the base of the neck. Uh, it's a bolt-on guitar joined with Ibanez's all-axis neck joint, as you can see here, which allows excellent up for access as far as a bolt-on guitar goes. As we move down to the body, We've got the standard Ibanez basswood body here. If you need to know about basswood, uh, just go on one of those guitar wood description websites. I'm not going to go through it now. All you need to know is that it's light and it sounds good. The pickups. We have a humbucker, single humbucker arrangement, the Ibanez Vintage Series. We've got a V7 in the neck, the single coil S1 in the middle, and another humbucker, the V8, in the bridge. These are controlled with a master volume, a master tone, and a five-way switch with the following settings. Bridge only, then up to the bridge and single combination, single only, single and neck pickup, and neck pickup on its own. Turning it over, We've got obviously the output jack control cavity, the main control cavity cover, and the springs for the back of the trem. The tremolo is the most important feature of this guitar, and it's really it's a selling point. This is the original Ibanez Edge tremolo. Just to mention, all the hardware is in what's called Powder Cosmo, which is again a sort of dark metallic grey. The reason this trem is so legendary and so revered by pro guitarists, including Ibanez and Dorsey's, Joe Satriani, Paul Gilbert, and Steve Vai, is that it's a major design upgrade on the original Floyd Rose tremolo. So if you look in guitar forums like Gemsite or Ibanez, or even the likes of Seymour Duncan and EMG, a lot of players recognize this trem to be the best two-point floating tremolo that's ever been made. The reason I feel it's better than the uh, Floyd Rose is that these two studs here uh, that the trem sits on, they actually lock into the inserts, which means that they don't move. Once you set the height, you lock these studs and the whole trem's stability and the tuning stability of the guitar is far improved. You've also got little touches like the fact that these fine tuners here if you can see that they're angled backwards and this just means that when you're palm muting they're out of your way you don't send the guitar out of tune by accident 
and it just feels comfortable in general. Even the fact that these saddles are very contoured and rounded and flat means that your hand doesn't hit any sharp edges when you're palm eating and this is a very comfortable bridge to play you know aggressively on or any sort of technique that you like as far as upgrades are concerned if you look at the back which is where you spotted this earlier i've installed a big brass block onto the back of the tremolo this increases sustain makes your fundamental tone better and um Adds a bit of weight to the guitar, but nothing that you will notice too much. I've got the springs set up in the V shape to add a bit more string tension because I'm tuned to drop B flat, uh, which is very low and requires, you know, quite a bit of spring tension to balance out these thicker strings that I've got on here. These are 11 to 54, by the way, early balls. The other major upgrade is the magnet swapping I've done for the pickups. This V7 neck pickup comes stock with a ceramic magnet and the bridge V8 comes stock with an Alnico 5. I think that's quite frankly silly and I swapped them around so that it means that the Alnico 5 in the neck gives the pickup a nice airy clear sound, no, no mud, no boom, and the bridge is bright, articulate and can deal with down tuning, you know, drop C, drop A even, very well. You need that ceramic bridge pickup, in my opinion, to play those tunings. Uh, you need the clarity. So that's that. I've tested them, they work fine. That's all there is to need, you need to know about upgrades. As far as downsides, obviously, cosmetically, you might have seen these when I was turning the guitar over. We've got a bit of surface sort of finish wear there. Not really dings, just finish wear. Again on the top, this one here is probably the most noticeable because it's on the front. There's a bit of it on the headstock as well, a bit of wear towards the top of the Ibanez logo, nothing major. As far as non-cosmetic issues, we've got moderate fret wear between the 9th and the 17th or 16th fret area on the E, B and G strings. If you need to get this guitar crowned, if you feel that you need to, it's not an expensive service. Most luthiers in London do it for around 50 pounds. I haven't experienced any major fret bars or playability issues. If you're picky about this, you can have a fret crown or even a refret um, at your sort of leisure after you've bought the guitar. That's it as far as the guitar specs go. I'm just gonna say now, that the price is £310 and compared to some of the guitars that I've seen in the kind of metal category on Gumtree and eBay, so I'm talking ESP, Jackson guitars, Dean and even other Ibanez guitars, the only thing you're going to get in that £300 to £400 price bracket are, in my opinion, bad Indonesian, Chinese and Korean made guitars from those manufacturers. To find a Japanese guitar of the highest quality in that price range is a rarity. Uh, there's no hard case with this, unfortunately I'm out of hard cases, and yes, if you feel you need a uh, fret crown, that will set you back £50, but all things considered, with the upgrades I've done and the modifications I've done, this is a steal. As far as delivery, and postage, I'm not sending this out in the post, I will not send this out with a courier, I will either deliver in person to you in the south and central London area, or you can pick it up from my house. If you have any uh, questions, just contact me via the Adam Gumtree, by text, email or phone, and if you need any more information, just look below into the description box, there is the full spec list and uh, even a link to Ibanez Wikia where it will explain everything that we need to know about the RG570 line of guitars. That's everything. As I said, any questions, contact me via Gumtree. Cheers.